first and foremost, um, if you have prescription insurance, you may want to speak to your insurance company about your own personal prescription plan because everyone's prescription coverage is quite different. In general, there may be a set dollar amount that you may pay per prescription, and in some cases, it could be five, ten dollars per prescription. In other cases, you may be responsible for paying a percentage of the cost of the medication. It can be 10, 20 percent, but once again, you can have that discussion with your insurance company. Um, from time to time, you know, prescription costs can really add up. And patients may find challenges where they're not able to pay for their prescriptions. So I have good news. If you do need assistance with your pulmonary hypertension medication, there are a few options that you can explore. And I will answer this in four ways. First, um, it is important that you speak to your pulmonary hypertension medical team because most clinics have nurses or social workers or other staff that can assist individuals in finding some financial help. And it's really important that if you're already on a prescription medication, that you want to speak to your medical team before you run out of your medications. Um, second, there are charitable assistance available through nonprofit organizations that can assist you with your copay. However, these um, programs rely on donations, so it's not uncommon that they may close and open throughout the year. Um, so if you need any information about which funds are currently open, you can get that information from PH a website. Third, you can also speak to your specialty pharmacy because some pharmacies do have copay assistance program that can help you with either copay for your pulmonary hypertension medications. The manufacturers do have the financial assistance program that you can apply for assistance. And once again, that information is going to be on PHA website.